Spectre Console allows you to turn your C Sharp Console apps into visually appealing, informative applications. In this series of videos, we're learning how to take full advantage of this library in 10 minute chunks. The source code is available as a link in the description. In this lesson, we're going to get the JSON data from an API and display it in the console as a formatted JSON document with different colors for the different parts of the JSON document. Now, if you like this series, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and visit imtimcorey.com for more training resources. Let's get started. So we have some setup code already done here. I created this helpers class and in here we have just one method called fetch API data async, which goes out to a given URL and it gets back the data and then it re awaits for the, the string of that data, the JSON string and returns that to the caller. So that's what we're doing here. And the result is we can call it like so, we can say fetch. By the way, this is a, um, an API built in a previous course on YouTube, and you can check that out or just use the sampleapi.com for all of your sample API needs. So now we have this, we could say ANSI console dot write line and write the JSON response. And if we did that, well, it's not going to be really pretty, but it will work. So the result is there's our JSON and that's not really very readable. So we want to make that a little bit better. Okay. So let's change this to format it as JSON. So we want to say JSON text, which we don't have anything that says JSON text at this point. And that's because we need to add one more NuGet package, right? Click and say, manage NuGet packages. We're going to search for Spectre. And when we do, we're going to get spectre.console.json as one of the options. We want to install this version. By the way, if you did want to make this um, console application uh, AOT, um, you can do that with Spectre Console and with Spectre Console, uh, JSON. You just can't do it with the CLI, which we're not going to be covering at this point. Okay, so JSON text which if we do control dot, now we can add the using directive for Spectre Console JSON. We can say JSON text, let's call it JSON equals new and pass in our JSON response. What that will do is convert it over to JSON text, which is something we can render onto our console. Now, let's just go ahead and actually render this. So we're gonna say, um, ANSI console dot write, and we'll say, let's put it in a panel. So new panel, and we'll say JSON. Now this is, you know, very basic, but this will get us going. So let's come over here and run this. And when we do, we've got a build error. Um, I've got a JSON error somewhere. Ah, JSON text does not exist. Why is that? Um, let's find out a rebuild seems to have helped that. So let's just clear this up and try it again. And we do, there is our JSON information in a panel and it's formatted in a way it's much more readable. The, uh, the properties are, or the keys are all blue and then the values are green for numbers and for Booleans and they're red for text. By the way, you can click on these links and go right to those URLs. So this gives us the information we need, but let's go a step further than this. So let's clean this up a bit more and we can start by working on making that panel a bit better, which we don't know how to do. Let's um, put this on a new line and we'll put the ending on a new line as well. And then say uh, dot header. And we're going to say, uh, API response. And then we'll also say collapse, make sure we, we don't try to expand, um, uh, beyond, you know, just what we need. And then we're also going to change the, the border color to be, uh, color dot white color dot white. There we go. 
So that makes our box a bit better. And if we run this and see it, then now it looks a bit more like what we'd be expecting for our box of JSON. But we can do a bit better because this red, I don't love it. And, then, and even the colons are a little weird. Let's change these. I can show you, it can change any of these colors can be changed. Okay, but I'm gonna just change a couple just so you can see it, how it works. So we're gonna say json.string color, and we'll say color dot, let's go with yellow. And then json.colon color, and let's change that to color dot orange. Orange one's fine. Now, when we run this, we'll see that we have orange colons and we have the yellow text. It's a bit more of what we might be expecting if you want to change those colors. So we can display JSON on our console. We can do so with nicely formatted layouts and colors, and we can do so very easily. We don't have to do a whole lot of formatting or, or try to build that out ourselves um, with, the, with the spacing, the tab in for, for, you know, right here and so on. That's all done for us using Spectre Console. It even wraps the lines when the lines get too long. So that's how we can display JSON using Spectre Console in our console application. Thanks for watching. And as always, I am Tim Corey.